So as we take a look at this next problem here, which function has the same zeros as h of x equals the quantity of x squared minus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 9? Uh, if you watched any of the videos in this section, again, I encourage you to go over to Desmos. And if I turn on this function here, there's what the picture looks like. I know that the scale is not the same as what was on momentum, but if you take a look at your options here, it's definitely not the first one, and it's definitely not the third one or the fourth one. It looks like it is uh, the second choice, and again, the choices in my order may be different than the choices on your order. But again, there's the picture that I marked, and if you go back over to Desmos, there's the picture. Um, x squared minus 4, it has a 0 here at um, negative 3, negative 2, positive 2, and positive 3. x squared minus 4 could be factored more into x minus 2 times x plus 2. x squared minus 9 could be factored more into x minus 3 times x plus 3. And when you solved each of those equations, you would come up with these values of negative 3, positive 3, negative 2, positive 2. Uh, number 6 says, which function has a 0 with multiplicity of 2? The thing about multiplicity of 2 is that the graph touches the x-axis. So... Um, as I was typing in the answers, I actually accidentally deleted one, so I'm going out of order a little bit. But uh, as I flip over to Desmos here, we'll turn this one off. If we look at x squared plus 3x plus 9, well, we don't touch or cross the x-axis, so it's definitely not that one. Again, the question says something about multiplicity of 2. That means that our graph is only going to touch the x-axis. 3x squared plus 24x plus 48 does touch the x-axis. And notice the quadratic form. x squared is that U-shaped curve, which is quadratic. I do think that that is the answer. But just to take a quick look at our other choices, because we have them typed into Desmos, if I turn this one off, we cross the x-axis twice, so it's not that one. And, whoops, turn that one off. We also cross the x-axis. But again, what I want to point out on this one uh, is that a multiplicity of 2 means that we touch the x-axis.